What is up, y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel. So who do y'all think is the king of R&B? Because Jacquees got the internet in a frenzy behind this subject, celebrities included. Let's get into the commentary. What's up, y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. So a couple of you seen me um, talk about this earlier today, but I'm just going to be talking about Jacquees saying that he's the king of R&B. Now, when I first seen the video, Jacquees was like so awkward. He was like, I'm the king of R&B for this generation. I know it's people that came before me. I got a pimple on my face. I'm going to bust it later. I was just like, why bring attention to the zip on your face? But it was just so crazy. So I'm on complex.com, y'all. This article was written by Joe Price. Um, and it's Pigeons and, Pigeons and Planes contributing editor at Backwoods Altar. So yeah, that's the person that wrote this. And it says Decada. Shout out to Decada where it's greater, y'all. Shout out to Decada. Decada, Georgia singer, songwriter, Jacquees has never been shy about flaunting his talents, taking plenty of opportunities to prove his abilities, but his latest claim is still a bold one. I just want to let everybody know that I'm the king of R&B right now. That's how country he was. Jacquees said in a video he posted online, for this generation. I understand who done came and who done done did, did that and that and that. But now it's my time. Jacquees, the king of R&B. Now, I was cracking up when I he first put the video up. I was cracking up. What's good, y'all? What's good? I know I got a pimple on my, my chin. <laughs> I'm going to bust that bitch later. <laughs> but I just want to let everybody know that. I'm the king of R&B right now for this generation. I understand who done came and who done did that and that and that, but now it's my turn. Jacquees, the king of R&B. I just heard him say it, and I've, I've been feeling like that. ATL, let's get it. I'm the so that was Jacquees saying that he's the king of R&B. Now, this is my perspective, okay? I feel like you're supposed to think that you're the best at what you do like if you don't think you're the best who is you know what i mean but it was like this opened up like the the, the a tidal wave of r&b people to start coming out talking about it i mean tank tyrese diddy uh who else jay holiday honey jay holiday was like it's only three kings and then the lady busts out and had me laughing. Are you valet? He said, baby, I ain't valet. This is with a Gucci jacket on. But I'm like, why are you bringing emphasis to the fact that you had a Gucci jacket on, though? Bro, you shouldn't be outside with your scully this far down and sitting outside in the park a lot. It's a park a lot. Okay? You should not be outside with your scully down like this and you in a parking lot and think, I'm not about to ask you, are you valet? And Jay Holiday, if you... Now, I like Jay Holiday, y'all. I liked him from, now even though I'm trying to play it off, I'm thinking about you all day long. That Jay Holiday, I can't breathe when you talk to me. That Jay Holiday. Jay Holiday was the truth back in the early 2000s, y'all. Like, I, I love the song Bed, Suffocate. He was popping, like, back then. But I understand, like, what Jacquees is saying. Jacquees is like, listen... It's my time. I'm up next. I understand there's people that put in that work. I'm acknowledging that, but this is my time. I'm finna get it. I understand. You should have that drive and that energy about things. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say he the king of R&B because there are people, <laughs> it's a lot of people making R&B like Chris Brown, Sammy, Miguel, uh, My Sean, Malachi Warren, uh, who else was making out here making R&B lately? I mean, there's a lot. Adrian Marcel. It's a lot of people making R&B out here. The dude Vito from uh YouTube. It's a lot of people making R&B out here. I think it's just that it's not. Oh, Trey Song cannot forget Trey Songs and Mario. Cannot forget those two names because Mario just dropped a project. I just think that we are in a time where trap music and everything is, is really popular right now. So, you know, the songs that was the songs that we loved and, you know, people singing heartfelt stuff. I just was talking about this on live not too long ago when we talked about LMA 
and how Ella May is bring was bringing back a certain you know type of sound like for the ladies i feel like there's you know r&b people for the ladies like um her ella may lion babe there's so many people that is out here making music oh saza cannot forget her there's so many people that are making like r&b type of music for the ladies but as far as men i mean there has been absence i mean even bobby valentino came out the woodwork bobby valentino you forgot your keys. Where you going? Bobby B, where you going? Came out. <laughs> Came out to talk about this. Now, let me finish reading this, y'all. Understandably, it did take a long time for people to take issue with the comments. And some have suspected that both Trey Songs and Ty Dolla Sign have each responded to Jacquees' claim with a simple tweet. It's worth nothing that Jacquees has worked with both artists on numerous occasions in the past. So Trey Songz only put out a laughing emoji. Ty Dolla Sign put a laughing emoji with his head to the side laughing. And basically, the 24-year-old has definitely done well for himself this year, even going so far to drop 100000 cash money at his mother's wedding. But Jay Holiday, y'all, came out. And said that BS that man said, Jay Holiday said in his video he shared, there's three kings of R&B. The first one sold 20 mil on the first album. The second king of R&B is from Chicago. Someone might want to tell him about the general thoughts on R. Kelly in recent times. But regardless, Holiday is clearly not happy with Jacquees. And listen, it's always people from older generations that kind of have a problem with, you know, the up and coming sometimes and I, I don't I don't see why I mean Jacquees is talented I wouldn't go so far as to say he's the king of R&B but I understand what he's saying like I am you know I'm 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 it you know what I mean like that energy like this is my time I'm up next like I'm kicking down the door I'm busting the hinges off like I'm coming through Wendy Williams move over. You know how bloggers be like, Wendy Williams move over. I'm up next. Like, everybody has their era. Bad Boy had an era. Cash Money had an era. No Limit had an era. Everything has an era. So a lot of people was giving out names like R. Kelly. R. Kelly was popular in an early, early era. Chris Brown, early 2000s. Was it early 2000s? Chris Brown and Trey Songs was popular I mean, when I was in high school, like early, early, early 2000s, you know what I mean? So Chris Brown to me is more so pop. Trey Songs is so talented, but Trey Songs is not like people got to stop with that selective hearing stuff. He said in my generation. So Jacquees is 24. Okay. In his generation, Chris Brown ain't in his generation. Trey Songz ain't in his generation. R. Kelly ain't. Tank ain't. Tyrese ain't in his generation. And Jay Holiday, no, he not in his generation. So I understand what Jacquees was saying. Now, as far as, and Miguel is not either. I think he just meant like as of right now, because there's people that they're popular. They had their collection and their collection of work. They're still popular, but they had they had their time. But it's kind of like, okay, Ella May is up next. Yeah, we know Rihanna is talented. We know that she put in a lot of, you know, she had a lot of hits. But, you know, now it's this person's time. Yeah, we know Beyonce is talented and she put in a whole collective of work. But everybody has their era. Now, Norm, what's her name? Normandy is up next. Everybody have their time. Yeah, we know Nicki Minaj put out some hits. But now it's Cardi's time. Cardi is the person of this generation now for the rap scene. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think he meant to offend, but I like the energy that it brought out, y'all. Because I was just saying the other day, I miss R&B music. We need real R&B. Oh, I didn't even say, what's the dude, little boy name? B. Smith be um singing real R&B music. It's a lot of R&B singers. But right now, trap music is so popular that they're not really, you know, being pushed. It's the same thing like how girl groups is not really being pushed like that. They don't really sign a lot of girl groups or the female rappers, they don't really sign a lot of female rappers like how they how they did. I think that Nicki Minaj kind of like opened up a door for them to start signing like a whole bunch of female rappers and stuff like that cuz for a long time they was not um 
But yeah, like, what are y'all's thoughts on Jaquees saying that he is the king of R&B for his generation? Because Wendy Williams said, everybody knows that the, the king of R&B is Michael Jackson. I said, Wendy, you need to put, put your glasses on, put that teacup down, Wendy, and just know that Michael is the king of pop music. Michael is the king of pop music, not R&B pop music okay michael is all across the board popular music all across the board are if we just talking about r&b i need for them to start coming out with some r&b albums so i can see i need sammy to come out with some more albums because sammy been putting in that work i need uh mario more mario i need more my sean malachi warren b smith where you at if we talking about this generation right now, Jaquees, we gonna need you to do more than these covers and get something going, Jaquees. But uh, yeah, what are y'all's thoughts about this whole who's the king of R&B? Leave your comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Hit that notification bell. And it's Brittany Chanel, King Chanel, the movement. You already know, moi, I gotta go.